Stay double file. All right, here we are at Mount Panorama in Australia, driving the Nissan GTR Nismo Gizmo GT3, car number 19, representing Team KCMG. This track is a beast, 6.2 kilometers with 23 corners, so it's all about staying focused and keeping things smooth. And hey, thanks for joining me for this quick race. Just me and two opponents, both running at 90% skill and aggressiveness. Let's see how we stack up today. Green light, go low can. First, I want to give a huge shout out to Budin NJ. Thank you so much for always supporting the Speedy Mackie YouTube channel, man. Your encouragement really keeps this going. And to everyone else tuning in, I appreciate each and every one of you. Your support is everything, from the likes, comments, and shares, to just watching the videos. Seriously, thank you. Now, let's talk about the pit crew. These guys, they're the unsung heroes of every race. There's a lot going on behind the scenes to make sure everything runs smoothly. Whether it's tire changes, fuel, keeping the car in top shape, you name it, they handle it. They make sure I've got the grip, fuel, and performance I need to keep pushing. It's their job to keep me out on the track and give me the best chance to finish strong. And a big shout out to the IT boys. Tony, Argy, Jerson, Neil, Toto, Mac Mac, Kenneth, Ann. You guys are always backing me up. I know you're all tuned in, cheering for me from wherever you are, and it means a lot. You're like my virtual pit crew, keeping things running off the track. Also, gotta give love to my family. Rona, McCoy, Shammy. You guys are my biggest supporters. I wouldn't be here doing this without you all. Every time I'm out here racing, I'm thinking about you and how lucky I am to have you on my side. And Tropang Lots, Frank, Kim, Jay, Kathy, you guys always have my back. Whether it's moral support or just keeping the energy up, I feel you guys pushing me forward, even when things get intense out here. All right, quick talk about the gear I'm using for this race. The Moza R9 wheelbase is absolutely delivering today, giving me all the feedback I need to feel every bit of this track. I've got the CSV2 steering wheel in my hands, paired with the CRP pedals, so I'm really locked into the car's behavior. Whether it's hitting the brakes or powering through the straights, everything is super responsive. And of course, I'm running the HGP shifter and HBP handbrake, which give me that extra edge for those tricky corners. Every part of this setup helps me feel like I'm right there on the actual track. I know these races go by fast, but the intensity is off the charts. Even a quick five minute race like this is all about keeping focus and staying consistent. No room for mistakes. One slip and you could be out. But with the right gear and the right support, it all comes together. Once again, big thanks to everyone watching and supporting the channel. Boot and NJ, my amazing family, the IT boys, Tropang Lots, you all make this so much fun to do. We've got more races and more content coming your way. So stay tuned and let's keep this momentum going. All right, let's shift gears for a bit and talk about the sim. I'm racing today in Assetto Corsa Competizione, and let me tell you, this game is something else. It's one of the best sim racing games out there when it comes to realism. The physics, the tire modeling, the way the car reacts to every little change in the road, everything is just spot on. It really makes you feel like you're in the driver's seat, especially with the feedback I get from my Moza racing setup. Every lap feels alive, and the immersion level is just next level. But hey, Assetto Corsa Competizione isn't the only game in town. There's Automobilista, which brings a lot of unique tracks and cars to the table. Definitely, definitely great for those looking to mix things up. iRacing is another one I really enjoy, especially for its online racing. The competition is fierce, and it's probably the best platform if you're looking to race against top-tier drivers. And of course, Forza Motorsport, that game is more on the casual side, but it's still an awesome experience if you just want to have some fun with a huge selection of cars. Now, for the tech geeks out there who want to know what powers this whole setup, let me break it down. I'm running an Intel i7 11th gen processor, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, and the beast of a graphics card, an ASUS Strix RTX 3080 10 GB OC V2 edition. This thing handles anything I throw at it, from the highest game settings to recording everything smoothly. I've also got one terabytes of M.2 storage to keep everything running fast and snappy, and 
800 watt gold rated power supply to make sure it all stays powered up without out any hiccups. On top of that, to make these videos, I'm using a green screen composite, which I edit in DaVinci Resolve. It really helps bring everything together and makes it look like I'm right there on the track. The green screen lets me overlay my driving footage onto the gameplay seamlessly, so it feels like I'm sitting in the actual car while racing. DaVinci Resolve makes the whole editing process smooth, from cutting the footage to adjusting the visuals and adding some cool effects. It's a lot of work, but I love seeing how it all comes together in the end. And yeah, I managed to do all of this over the weekend because, believe it or not, I've got a full-time job uh, in the IT department at our provincial government. So between work and racing, I'm squeezing in some editing sessions here and there but I wouldn't have it any other way. Before I wrap this up, if you want to hear your name in my next race, just drop it in the comments below. I love giving shout outs to my supporters and I wouldn't be doing this without all of you. So leave your name and I'll make sure to give you a special mention in the next video. Thanks again, everyone. Let's go. Speedy Mackie out.